Hello everyone, today we're working on the flanks of the volcano because we want to get some UV camera data, I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but first we have to get to our site because it's through this jungle here to get to the best position you need to do some hiking, so off we go. Oh, no, just kidding. The car's right there, it's just on a path down the road. I think I might call this third fieldwork video return of the fieldwork or something. I'm not sure we've had enough puns in these videos yet. Okay, so just a short walk down this track here. We've set up, we've found a good position. Um, so I'm walking through a uh, lava field. I think it's about 300, 350 years old and it's quite extensive. You can see it spreads all the way this way. Then you can look downwind as well. Well, downwind, down slope. That's all there, this is all uh, lava flow from previous eruption. Uh, in the distance, in the moment, we're going to be able to see the plume. So you can probably see the plume behind me. It's that darker streak across the sky. Uh, in a moment, we should be able to see the summit. Um, so the current degassing centre where the lava lake is, I think it's a crater Santiago. So, I'll try and see that there. That, that's where the plume is coming from and that's where it's going to. So, we can see it's coming out of, oh, I find it difficult to point in the right direction, that's where it's coming from, that's the crater Santiago, I have a better view of it over here, behind this tree, there we go, Tom and Rebecca discussing some important science there, Tom, his shirt out just for this video, knew it was going to happen, that's the shade tree, the most important point in a fieldwork location, so we can see here we've got our UV camera, here, set up looking at the gases coming out of the plume. So mostly that plume is containing uh, gases like carbon dioxide, sulphur dioxide and water vapour but we measure in particular uh, the sulphur dioxide because it's the easiest to resolve uh, over the background, um, background concentration of, of other gases. Um, so this is this, this is this relatively uh, well finished Pelly case looking thing, so it's a really hard case. So this is something we've uh, pretty much developed and is ready to go and you can just take it out as it is and start working. The thing with all the duct tape on the top, so this thing up here, that is our, that is our spectrometer. So this, as ever, with all these design and um, testing stages, things look a little bit terrible. And one of the things which is most important in the field is duct tape. I don't know where we would be without duct tape in the field. Sometimes it just managed to secure things um, wherever you want it to. And we've got this box duct tape to a tripod with all the, it's got the batteries and the pies and stuff in there as well. Um, so literally what we're doing here is we're measuring the amount of sulfur dioxide coming out of this plume. So the UV camera takes images of, of this, uh, of the gas coming out every approximately every two seconds and from that we can work out in a similar manner to the spectrometer like I told everyone yesterday or in my last video we can work out the amount of gas coming out um, on a sort of a per second basis with the UV camera um, so that's it from what we're doing today it's a nice relaxed session this don't have to do do a lot once everything's going um, so I will be back with another video soon